Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can insert 3D objects to Google Slides. Now, let me be clear, we cannot really insert a traditional 3D object to Google Slide in a way like you cannot uh, create something in software like Blender and then you want to put the object to Google Slides. It is just not possible because a lot of 3D formats are not supported by Google Slides. Instead, there are two alternatives that may be not perfect but may be useful in some cases. So the first method is you can just insert a 3D object by creating it using shape. So if you go to the insert menu and then click shape and you will see that there are some shapes that actually look like 3D. For example, this cube is actually just a shape. You can also use this hand shape, uh, shape, shape that you can create and yeah you can draw it and it will look like a 3d object even though this is technically 2d and you cannot really interact with it in a way like you cannot move it around but at least it looks like 3d and i know this is not the best solution but it may be worth it to try anyway this is the first method the second method is a little more interesting but it is essentially still the same it is not very interactive but at least we have a much more realistic approach and we can even select the angle of the object so let me remove this element first to create a room for the next object uh, the object or the surface that i'm talking about is called google poly now this website has been discontinued but there is a, a duplicate of, i believe from poly.pizza you can just go to google.com and search for google poly and you will find this website poly by google this is a website that contains more than 2000 models from google all of them are free and you can find a lot of 3d objects right here so i'm going to just select one of them i'm going to pick this pagoda and there is an option to download it as a file uh, as a 3d file if you want to modify it but again google slides doesn't support that so instead we just want to take a screenshot of this object now you can interact with it you can select the angle of this object let's say i want to put it uh in this angle now let's go to this menu and click screenshot and now you'll see that it has been downloaded the file and i'm going to just click and drag the file to my google slides document and there you go and this is the result this is not the best uh this is still not interactive you cannot move it around you cannot just interact the way that you can do it in poly.pizza website but again you, you have the control over the angle of this object and i think they look great it looks realistic it looks awesome and certainly better than just this conventional shape so yeah these two are uh, the options you can try to insert 3d models to google slide i hope you find this video helpful